All right, welcome back to another exciting episode of Mind Test Gameplay of Sorts. Yeah. And we're going to look at remodeling the Cyan House. So let's go. If you like what you see here, please consider liking and subscribing. Greatly appreciated. Um, where's my penguin? There he is. I'm Mr. Pengy. All right. I added a little, I because I can never not tweak a build. So I added an emergency exit. Since this house is underwater, we need a couple ways of getting out of here. So we have a little tunnel system off of the master closet. Looks cool. Come back down here using all the arcs. Made a little, little little tunnel. It can also be a utility tunnel. Put some cables and stuff. And we come out right here. And that is the secret squirrel hidden door. And that is from my hidden doors. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I'm redoing this video because of, I think it's my doors that those, those hidden doors are in. I've done a, I've done a video in the past on it. Um, there's a whole bunch of hidden stone door, hidden wooden door. Unfortunately, they do not inherit whatever you're using as default. So I use default stone. These are um they're they're modeled after default stone but they're their own separate textures so if you're working in a texture pack and you you've redone the stone you're gonna have to go in there and, and redo that also but they look great and i have a um i have a balance between blocks that i create or you know get from public domain or other texture packs and balance them in with the default blocks. And I, I believe the arcs are the same. I have to look into that. Um, yeah. So that looks really cool. And I replace, I put a hidden door over in the train station to um, make it secret. <laughs> so, yeah. One of the things that I have to work on, is, as you notice, you saw a little pattern in the floor of those blocks. And it's not really that bad, but that's one of the things that I have to work on on my graphics is, is getting the colors balanced across so you don't have that repetitive... Hi. You don't have that repetitive um, look to it. And one of, the, one of the best blocks for that is the Art Deco mod with... Do I have that block? Um, it's going to be Art Deco Italian Marvel. And you can see there's pattern in it, but it doesn't have a pattern that stands out. Ooh. And I really like that about that block, where some of the other blocks, especially the blocks that I create, I, I still haven't mastered that kind of balance. So here's a new block that I touched up. There was a black, there was a mark across that, and it would have been repetitive. You would have seen this black gouge. So I took it out and healed it, and then redid the graphic. But that's also a public domain uh, texture, as in the backsplash. Isn't that cool? Yeah, okay. And so what I've also done out here real quickly is I built this area out a little bit. So it kind of really, it, it really turned out nice how that looks now. If you remember that this whole area here was all water. So I built it out and deepened the channel added some more palm trees, or not palm trees, those are evergreen trees. Yeah. 
And that works fine. Now, the house that we are going to be playing with is the CIN, Cyan house, right here. And my allergies are kicking up. I can't talk. So the idea, and I'm re-recording this video because the first part just turned out hideously long. <laughs> and, um, not very interesting. Uh, this is going to be hopefully more interesting in that I have a purpose. Well, I have a purpose, but um, what is happening here is I, I'm taking out all these blocks. I took out that doorway, and you can still see the remnants of um, the stairs, and I have to work on stop saying, um, um, so many, um, uh, times it's getting very annoying and old. You can tell a, prof you can tell a more seasoned presenter <laughs> than a person that is just starting out. And I have never been able, I did podcasting for four years and I had to go through, it took, it took over an hour to I uh, get my edit, get my editing because I would say I would have to go through and, and erase all the ums. So this whole area here is going bye bye because it's kind of interfering with the idea that I'm trying to convey. And there's going to be some other additions here what i've done is and i can't i don't want to use world edit on this because of it's going to interfere with what the oh it's going to interfere with the area and i don't want to i don't want to do that yet So we're just going to fill this in real quickly to what it was when I first started it. And the idea of the house is it had no, uh, it wasn't big enough. It had no real design. It was supposed to be modeled after a factory, um, like an old, not a, an old converted factory loft kind of deal. And I liked it. It looked okay, but it didn't really convey what I wanted. So I took off the roof, and what the idea is, is I'm going to extend out. You can see the framework is already installed. That's, that's going to be extended out into usable area because it's just a mess. Now, back here, this, this area here will not be touched because I, I like it that much. This was my first fountain and you can turn off the fountain heads individually. It created, it created a nice little atmosphere. This area back here, this was a huge gorge and I filled that in and I'm going to sculpt it. And then the only other problem is back here we, we have this just kind of, it's kind of weird looking. So what I'm thinking about doing, but it ties in with all the other water in the reservoir. What I'm thinking about doing is just building this gradually up and just creating a huge hill. So that is the idea without taking out these trees because that's a big tree. I, I like it. And then off in the distance here, we have our, Treehouse. Cool. So that's the game plan. So this is all going to be filled out. And I want to I want to use these windows. I like that kind of style of window. And that's how it's gonna, that's how the outline is going to look. Now I started taking away the interior. So I absolutely love this deck. However, it's too big. And it doesn't leave enough room in here. So I might keep part of it. But 
this deck is going to replace the bottom deck. So I am going to recreate this decking down here and just get rid of all this marble and glass, get rid of that hot tub area. This is kind of cool, this trellis system I built. I love the detail on that. However, these beams sit way too far back. So yeah, it's gonna be moved forward. And then this is the back area here. You can see the pool house over there. And this is where all the stuff is for the waterfall. So we're gonna take a look at that real quick of what we have existing. And one of the ideas is this down here is now gonna be, the doorway was over here. You can see where the lights were. Um, that was the doorway and it led down to there. This path, the path is gonna to lead to this kind of entrance here. I'm gonna use different colored glass. And it's gonna be kind of a wrap around and there's going to be a gate controller that'll control the door. And then you come in here, and then this is going to be like a informal living room and stairway that leads above. And we'll go into up here. And you can see how the original door was here, three wide. And then you got this massive staircase, which looks okay, but... It's in the middle of the floor. It, it kind of, you can't do anything with this area. You can't make that look good. So the stairs are gonna come up somewhere around here from the, from the first floor. And then I just have to figure out how to get up to the second floor. And that'll probably be somewhere over here will be the stairs. Or I might come up here and then immediately come up right here and then immediately go up to the second floor, which I'll show you why in a second. The, you come up here and you got this cool area out here. I might extend the deck to here to overhang the waterfall and close all this in because there's just not enough room up here to, I wanted to put two bedrooms and a, and a hallway leading to the backyard area and it just, it didn't fit. I could put a bathroom right here, and then I couldn't because of the glass. I'm going to have to figure something out there. Uh, create rooms in the middle, and then have a, a walkway all the way around. That'll work. But look, this whole area up here is unusable because of these stairs. And that's going to get taken care of. So we come down here to the utility room. And this is where, you know, we have a teleporter <laughs> and everything else. Um, I wonder how much area here until it, it, it goes all the way through to the to the other side by the doors and look at that we broke through well that's kind of disheartening hmm I'm gonna have to figure that out so this at least will tell how much room I have to work with here before I need to go up to the utility room level. But that, you're not going to be able to get to the utility room from here. This is just basically for me knowing where my limit is on this whole area here. Because this back here, I do not want to touch. This is the waterfall mechanism. And this is the electronics for the waterfall lights, the switch or the um, the water controllers for the fountain. And here's an emergency exit that leads back here with the cool emergency doors. And that goes all the way down to the reservoir. Let me in. Why won't you let, why won't, why won't, come on, there we go. Which you need a scuba tank <laughs> to go in here. And here's the reservoir. Um, you come down here, no, down. 
I am hitting all the wrong keys. Hi, Mr. Shark. You can, I hate how that does that, but there's no way around that. There is your uh, generator, hydro generator and pump. And what that does is generates the power for the pump to pump the water up out the reservoir. And you can see the water comes back here. So basically it creates one huge loop because here's the waterfall from the house and the lights. So that's how that works. There we go. So that is going to tie in nicely when I get that done. We're just going to go up. That's how it looks uh, in x-ray mode. And you can see that there's there's the <laughs> the mess for the fountain. And I am I am proud of that fountain even though it it, it hides a whole bunch of uh mess. Yeah. So, the game plan is, this is going to be the main entrance, and the glass is going to be, I'm probably going to go with the black stained glass. This, this whole house is going to get changed, so this doesn't really matter if this isn't clear. I'd like to keep all the windows the same. However, that's the skeleton outline for that. That is just a beautiful, beautiful view and area. I'm really liking how that pool house turned out. I'm glad I redid all this stuff. So, and this, this, this is kind of strange because this kind of framework, you do, see, you will see that on some modern houses. They'll kind of have this kind of artistic framework, but unfortunately, I need this area here to expand the house. And I, like I said, I do not want to touch anything back here, but I want to give this more of a, a cohesive look. Uh, that's a big word even for me. So that's the plan. Other than that, I don't know. You, look at the pattern in this marble. And that's what, the marble looks really cool on a small area, but when you really deck it out like that, it just looks awful. And back here we have the kitchen, which I don't really want to redo, but I am. I'm going to keep the same kind of idea. I have four high ceilings. However, and that was by design because, oh, I don't. You know what? That just solved my problem. So to change the to change the flooring above, because cyan, you know, you can't just have everything cyan. I need to come up with a ceiling. And that is three high, four high. So That will work. So I can change the ceiling color. That will work. I just figured out, I just figured out my, um, yeah. I kind of need to do that. This is going to be changed. This was a hot tub. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have we have a bathroom back here which looks okay, very monotone, very sanitary. That's all going to get changed out. And then I kind of I kind of like that, the kind of lit staircase, but there's just so much wrong with with this property. However, I really do like the windows and the views and everything else. This is a block I was thinking about for the windows of the pool house. If you don't want to have connected glass, so in the main menu when you boot up, you can have all your, all your glass connect. 
And this self connects itself. And I'm thinking about replacing all the clean glass blocks in the pool house with this for the underwater stuff. But I'm going to have to go in and you can see how that looks just way too busy for what I want to use it for. And to give you a good, you know, I forgot about that, to give a good perspective of how that will actually look. If we come over here and we go right there. Now, where is it? Where are you? There you are. You see that, that hidden area right there? Yeah, that is the underwater laboratory. Underwater laboratory and area to get into there. So where that comes into play is you can see this huge tank right here. And the tank looks really good, but the glass is too busy. It's thick glass. We need the thickness, but we don't need all these lines. So I want to go in and clean up the graphic. And that's the beauty of this game is that we can clean up. You can see from far away, it looks great. If it only had one set of lines. Now I get that, you know, there's lines on each side of the glass, but there kind of doesn't have to be. So that's the idea of this huge fish tank kind of design. And I have that on this one too, on the bottom there. So that's going to deal with that. And the cyan house is right here, right? <laughs> Flat through the tree. So this kind of looks a little goofy. That's why I'm thinking about making this whole area here. Come on. This is why I redid the video in the first place. I want to see how, you know, I fixed my mouse, but I'm, I'm going through so much lag right now that, see how this looks real quick before I let you guys go. I swear this is going to be a shorter video because, <laughs> yeah, one, two, three. This is going to be a big house. Yes, it will. So this is going to come in here. Right now we're just right now we're just going to I like that that look even better. And play with that. Let's see how when you go back what the the overhang I did the overhang by 5. I think that's going to look good if I do it right. If I if I pull off the idea that I want. And I think I can. So what'll happen is that's the floor. But you see now, I have to go double because of the carpet. Wow. I'm still liking that, though. I'll figure out something. Because the only problem... I'm going to have to go two. But I like the, I like the depth of that. You know, it worked over on the um, the concrete, or not the concrete house. It worked over there, and I did. Now oh, I only did single floor. I'm gonna have to play with that because this can lend itself to opening up. That will be one way of 
There we go. That's going to be one way of... making this look more proportionate. I love that replacer tool. See, it's looking better already. Looking better already. Don't get in the way, sheep. I have enough, I have enough room now with uh what am i what word am i looking for here i haven't i i have enough room with what i want to do oh that does not look <laughs> that does not look good at all. Holy cannolis. Batman. Uh, that looks a lot better. Because there's going to be it's going to be floor and floor and ceiling. Very nice. I'm a liking. So right off the bat, we just have we just have that much more room. And there's the elevator for to get to the upstairs and there. This will be this will be a separate color. We'll have the frame of the cyan. We have these gorgeous windows that'll be floor to ceiling. And that will work out just fine. Then what I need to do is I need to figure this deck out. because I do want a little bit more room back here. Go from there. But I shouldn't have to do anything with supports because I'm extending everything out. Excuse me, Mr. Sheep. Hey. Fine, I'll walk around. Get off my house. It's going to be a big, it's going to be, it's going to be a big house. There's no other way around that. So I, this is the main door, main entrance. And then I'm going to have stairs going up in the back. You come in here. You got these gorgeous views. I might have to move that acacia tree. You have these gorgeous views. You come in here, you have an informal, informal living room. And then, oh, uh, Informal living room. Sit, you know, like a greeting area. Stairs off the back going up to the second floor. That actually looks... I, I'm really... Uh, fired up about that. This is going to be... This is going to be cool. The framework of the house... I'm going to extend all the floors, move that deck down, and still retain the backyard area. These doors will be gone because you'll enter the backyard area from doors over here. And I, I really want to retain this glass. I really like the way that this glass looks. And I, 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 I will not touch anything back here. Except for, I did fill in this gorge to make it look more realistic. The only problem I have with the back here is that over on this side is that. And I, I, I really don't like that. I'd like to create a hill and blend all that in together. So that's what I'm going to be working on is it is kind of dangerous back here. <laughs> so, <laughs> but that, that will work and I'll still retain the gorgeous views off of here over to the pool house and still have the waterfall and all the, uh, all my techniques work intact. 
Because at night, this really does look cool with the waterfall. And I still have a lot more, a lot more tweaking. I'm going to keep those stairs because that'll be to get to the backyard, to the, to the lower, to the lower deck. And that'll act as a sun overhang. And actually, this gets extended out. That gets moved. And then the deck will extend over a little bit more. All right, so we have a game plan. That's going to be a big house. But that's fine. That is fine. That's what that's exactly what I want. I just have to figure out how to get when I come back up here from from the from below. From below. Oh, that, that's fine. I just have to make sure I have enough because you will not be able to reach the, um, we are not going to be able to reach the utility room from back here. So I have all this room to play with here to make a staircase to wrap or a staircase go up and then up. And that'll get it, that'll be very luxurious and get to there. All right. So we have a plan. We, we, we have a plan. And then the kitchen will get redone real nicely. All this will be, all this will be gone. And we have the bathroom here. And then you come up to the second floor. And this will, there'll be a hallway. So this hallway will wrap around and go out to the rooms that'll be up here. And then I can create, oh, why did I do that? And then I can create some kind of balcony over in here. That's an idea too. So right up in here, this is going to have a flooring and everything, but it'll be like a, like a screened in balcony. All right. So that will do it for this episode. This is just a episode to, uh, flesh out, man, that thing's going to be mammoth. But the, the thing about it is, is that the colors that I chosen will blend in real nicely. Oh, look at that entrance. Everything, it, the colors blend in really cool with this area. And because of what I've been doing with the roadways and stuff, the road is going to come, I've already started working on the road. So we have these two houses here. And over here, we have this house and the Oasis house, or the um, Cliff house. And over here we have the Spaceship house, which is going to get moved over a little bit. So this road, which goes all the way over to the fire station, restaurant, Northern train station. And I redid the chandelier. Look at that. That cool or what? That's the final chandelier design that I went with over here. So, and then the fireplace, or the fireplace, the fire station, the fire lookout tower, it all lends over to the luxury resort over here. And then the new, the new town section over here. There's the Oasis house. And then there's the new 
that house and the, uh, the villa and everything off in this area over here with the art house. We have Siri interrupting me. See, here's the house that I was thinking about, but I only have a one overhang and then four overhang over here. It'll still, it'll work out. Then we come back over here. I keep flying through the trees. There's the stone house where I have kind of that framework deal going on back here, which looks really, really cool. Well, I think it looks cool. <laughs> the castle. Man, I haven't been to the castle in a while. Um, here's another cyan looking house. So it's all coming together. The roadway. Wow. What a tangent I got off on. So the roadway is actually going to come over and link all these houses up. Where am I at? There he is. So right here, the road will come here and go this way. You see, now I have to figure that out. You know, that's not a problem. The road can come up here, curve here. This area is right to here. And then the road comes right there. And then I might have to move that house. And that's the, that can be the front. This house is kind of, kind of harder. I might just move it because then the road will also, I'm going to have to move it because the road is going to continue straight and it's going to go behind the biodome over by the farm. And that, that farm's getting redone. That's the next project. That farm's getting redone. That barn is just too small. And for the community garden center. And here's the biodome the pool house, and we're back to where we started. So this road will link up on the, probably come through here somehow because we actually do have, well, I'm going to have to really get creative because here's a parking lot and here's some more. I like this house, but it's goofy. This is my um, workshop. From, oh, and that glass, you can color that glass, too. Now, that's... I forgot about that. Except for the glass glitches. I'm going to have to play with that. So, this was my workshop area. And we have some of the older homes back here. And a real cool park pond, which was my first attempt at really landscaping. Really, really getting um, the landscaping down. And then we're back all the way back here. So you can see how this all ties together. So that's kind of cool. Ouch. And it's not intrusive. So if you're here, you know, you, you really don't. Wow. Why? Come on. No leg. No leg. We're almost done. Almost done. See, that? that's the only time you're ever going to really see that house is from here. All right. So I've kept enough of your time. But that's how all these areas are going to tie together and really go into one kind of unit and be more realistic by, by tying in roads <laughs> because we kind of need that. Hi, Miss Penguin. Do I have any fish for you? Yes, I do. You're at full health. Cool. Your buddy, the, the other two penguins disappeared. So that's going to be... Um, that is going to be something I'm going to have to work on because it 
You see, I have to clean up that glass. It'll work. All I got to do is clean up that glass and that will, that will be our new windows. All right. So, uh, all the links to all the mods that I use are in the show notes and the descriptions of every video, uh, or at my website, you can go there and we're going to build some more and figure out this glass deal because that's my clean glass. And I absolutely love that. But the repetition of the doesn't look bad. We will play with that and go from there. So thank you for joining me. Until the next video, keep building. And um, yeah, everybody have a warm, safe, dry week. And goodbye.